Hey guys, what is up? Waffle Nation here, and I'm doing a really quick tutorial on some redstone stuff. So, this is how you can give items names and lore. Now, it's really simple. First, you want to start out with the give command. Slash give, nearest player, or you could do at P, at R, or at A. Very simple. Now, you can do the name of the object, diamond sword, for example. It has to have a space if it's two letters, two words, sorry. And then how much of you want. So this is one. Now, you can also do for diamond sword, you can do two, seven, six. That's the item ID. So you can also do that if you know them. They you can find it on some wikis. They have some blogs or something where you can find all the item IDs. So this will give you your diamond sword. Now, as I said earlier, you can have this as diamond sword as well. And it'll also give you a diamond sword. Now, let's move on to the next one. This is a little longer command, and it's basically just this part right here that adds the new thing. Now, whenever you start adding strings, which is what is, comes after the main command, for example, this string is giving it a custom name, um, you have to add a zero for some reason. It might just be right now, I don't know why, but it's just you have to add a zero right here. So after the one, or how many items you want of it, do space, zero, another space, and then your string. So, you start out with give, nearest player, diamond sword, one, then the zero, display, with this curly bracket, colon, curly bracket, name, colon, and then the name of what you want it to be, your custom name. Alright, so let's press it. And it'll give you the waffle blade. The waffle blade, sorry. All right. So, for example, let me show you this. Without the zero, it will not work. So you have to add the zero for some reason. And if you guys know why, please leave me some comments of what why you actually need it. All right. So the next one right here, I added not only the name but also special custom lore now after you do the first string get rid of the last curly bracket add a comma and then do this string lore colon square bracket and then your custom lore so and then the end part which is that um, square bracket and the two curly brackets alright so let's press that and it will give you a waffle blade with a lore of a diamond sword so you can change that to whatever you want now, you can also add two lures. So you can have two of a lure. So now it's Waffle Blade, a diamond sword, very sharp. So that's pretty useful. You can do two lines. I think you can even do more than that. I think it goes up to five, I think. I don't know. But you can experiment with that. Basically, all you do to add a second lure is do the um, end quote then another comma, then the start quote of your next one. And then you can do the square bracket, curly curly, to end it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and leave a like. Alright, so by the way, before I finish this, I want you to know that I am doing some of my videos now in the shaders pack. It is, I'll leave the name of the shaders pack in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you all later.